Hey guys, what's up? My name is Jared, and today we're going to be talking about why shooting with S-Log3 on your Sony cameras might be a little bit easier than you might have thought. Now, all the videos I've watched to this date all make S-Log3 sound pretty intimidating. Same with S-Log2, but S-Log3 especially. Now, it's hard for me to try out new things like that with my camera because a lot of the gigs I do are paid, real estate, and stuff like that, corporate shoots. And it's just risky to try something like that. And if I mess the footage up, have to tell my client, yeah, I have to go back, I messed something up. It's embarrassing, nobody wants to do that. Now this past week, I decided to bite the bullet and I told myself I was gonna try using S-Log3. And because I know the Sony cameras have the S-Gamut Display Assist. Went through, found the S-Gamut Display Assist, went down to the basic S-Log3, and it looked amazing. I have tried the S-Log2 before and it just doesn't look nice. It's hard to still tell what your footage can actually come out like, but the S-Log3 assist came out amazing. In the back of my head, I was still kind of worried about, okay, do I have to shoot this a little overexposed or underexposed? I really wasn't sure. I just went for what looks normal with the assist on and I just rolled with that. Now these are just before. So this is what saves out of your camera. Even though you see different, the flat profile, the S-Log3 is what is saved embedded into the files. And then compared to this, this is just with a basic LUT. I Googled S-Log3 to Rec 709 and this is the first thing that came up free LUT, downloaded it, put it on my footage and it looks amazing. I'm gonna put the link in the description to the LUT that I found, amazing stuff, and it's great because it's free. And I'm really happy with the result from this LUT and from shooting S-Log3. There's so much more you can do with the footage, taking skin tones to exactly where you want it. If a color's too bright in the background, you can pull it down and still keep the quality a lot better compared to shooting with that picture profile one with those colors baked right into the files. Now, if you guys wanna check out any more of my work, I have my website, link in the description. And you can also follow me on Instagram as well, at jaredb33. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks.